Today's episode is brought to you by Smog. So it's day 46, and I only know that because I made a point of remembering it when I fired the game up. I have a star to spend. Yeah, I think it's my turn to take a... I'm going to take oil drilling. And I've forgotten... Did we not make the book? Okay, go away for a minute. I thought we made the book. I thought I already read the book for that. Anyway, uh, even if we did, we need... Pump jacks need electrical power. I can't build one of these things. Ginger hasn't made a second. Because I never asked him to. Third, I need a whole bunch of pipes, because this thing has a water intake. And a water outtake. And it's going to make... Uh, wastewater. And you're... Yeah, my nerves. Where are you? Catch you next time, Wiley. Yeah, this thing's required waste. I think they've changed the model a bit. I'll have to check. It looks a bit different from last time. It's been a while, so I don't quite remember. So this would be the separator tower. No, hang on. No, that's a separator tower. I've been up a separator tower before. That's a flare stack. This is a heat exchanger. A tube and body heat exchanger by the looks of it, which is actually really kind of cool. It should have a PSV up here just in case of extra pressure, but oh well. That's the water output. That's the water input. That's a... Arrow input your ass. You're going to be coyote burgers. It's that. I'm still not sure what these things are. Like I've worked in the industry. I don't remember this valve and the gauge, though. And again, false advertising. You can't climb the separator tower. Like, the model looks cool. It's got this ladder, but in order to get onto it, you have to cheat. just to get up here. You actually can walk up here and interact with the thing from up here. That could be a steam condensate drum. Could be. That's a heat exchanger. Yeah, this thing operates a little stranger than I'm used to. They've also added input, blah blah blah, rates. I don't care about any of this stuff. We have we have plastic now. Before we had biodiesel, epoxy, gas. Was there another one? Maybe we made rubber from here. I don't remember now. I really don't. I remember epoxy it was used for. I remember being used for fiberglass. Flat steel. Composite lumber, flat steel, modern upgrade, substrate. That looks kinda kinda good. Plastic was fiberglass, yeah. Plastic and glass. Who was there before? The fiberglass icons change, though. Hmm. Anyway, this all requires oil drilling. It's going to require... Disabled because of invalid status. Oh, I can't... I can't check the pipes, because it's not running. See, it's weird. It's like, okay, yeah, okay, you can put it in a room, right? Chimney pipe must have only one open and outside of all rooms and above the object. So, 
chimney pipe. Do we have a pipe around here? I'm not even sure which one of them is the chimney pipe. Do we have any pipes, Ginger? Let's find out. And survey says, yeah, we've got two iron pipes. Not sure those are going to work. And even then, you can't, like, you have to have something to place them against. So if we do this, which of you Okay, so you're where the smog is going to come out of. Which I should have guessed by the slightly sooty end there. To do that. Hmm. I'm not sure why you'd want to put this in a building in the first place. I think it'd be a bit of a... A bit of a pain. Most refining operations happen outside just because of the sheer... I don't know where I got these things from. The sheer size of the equipment, right? Like, okay, uh, treatment, desand. Oh, you have to give me a minute here. Uh, I have got out of the industry seven years ago. Treaters, desand. Uh, a lot of water treatment. A lot of water treatment. Half a boiler's inside a building, half is out. But this thing would always be outside all by itself because it's easier to work on that way. Plus, you'd you'd throw it down on a on a pre-poured concrete pad. We have a bunch of concrete, but I don't want to use it for this. It's going to look just as fine. Yes, it would look better plopped down on a concrete pad. But uh, we have a bunch. Of, our concrete is for Ginger's made a bunch of concrete, and we're saving it for. Something. I don't remember what. I think we have a. We have to build a bunch of type three, tier three rooms. And something he's doing requires concrete. Our oil isn't very far away. I would, I just kind of expected the oil to be in a really irritating spot. But uh, world, oil field, right there. Now the other weird, yeah, the unfortunate part is that the uh, the other bright spot of that oil, like you can see where it kind of goes along with this. That's like we ginger threw a bunch of dirt across the river there just for more stuff, and then the next spots are kind of up on the go away, up on the hill here, and then anything else is like literally on the other side of the planet and would require a road so extensive as to simply not be worth it. So over here, I do like that you can see all the neat stuff we got, right? Like, So this is, this is a little seed manufacturing building I built. So that when I harvest stuff, I can drop stuff off here, make a bunch of seeds, and then mill the rest of it in an attempt to get away from the storage hell that is Spawn Town. I may have to build a bakery out along this road somewhere. Just because in order to use my bakery oven back here, there's so many storage areas. It's it's still in the old kitchen, right? So in order to do anything, it's like, okay, I'll click on it and hit storage, and then I'll go get a pop, and I'll come back, and it should be ready. So... Let this be a lesson, kids. Don't uh, don't clutter your world up with way too much storage. Okay, so you need what? A whole bunch of fiberglass and epoxy, epoxy. which are both uh, oil oh. stuff. Have you learned it yet? Uh, no, but you just got done the book, right? Yeah, the book's down below. Okay. Uh, I've also finished the electronics book and took that and started a little bit of work into electronics, which is why I need fiberglass and epoxy for some reason i thought you'd already uh done the where is it here you'd already done the oil drilling book 
and was I got halfway through recording. I'm like, okay, let's go get this. Wait, hang on. <laughs> Book's not done uh, yet. Whoops. <laughs> just, just finished it last night. Okay, over here, oil drilling. Go be tool tip. Yes, and there we are. Okay, so I can now first thing, black gold. We're gonna need to make barrels. Is that right? Yes. And for some uh, reason, and then, you need oil drilling to make barrels. Go figure that one out. Right. Now, those are made where again? I think the shaper? Barrel. Electric machine is stable. Oh, okay. So let me show you where that's at. Oh, yeah. That's around back. Uh, that's in the, the metal corrugated structure. I still don't get why the, the electric stove makes smog and the electric generator doesn't. <laughs> like, I'm cooking a bunch of stuff and it just smoke belching out of the stove. Uh, I, 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 I don't know if that's a how you cook the food. So I'm cooking the food wrong. No, it's how you normally cook food. You burn the shit out of it. I don't always burn it. Sometimes I microwave it. Tell me you burn water. <laughs> <laughs> I've burned soup a few times. Yeah. So I added a second level to put my electronics table up there because this room is <laughs> huge. That's, that's... I remember that being yeah. a table. So you can jump up here. If you, if you get on top of this panel here, you can then jump up here. I don't remember this being a table for some reason. Yep. This wasn't. This was... Hang on. This is all the stuff. There was an assembly machine, uh, friggin' go on brain, an electronics assembly. They did a whole this bunch of the things. electronics made... assembly. No, that is a whole nother one. There's a robotic uh -oh. assembly line. No, that's the that's the. Oh, there's a robotics assembly line too. Yes, but there yeah. was an electronic assembly line that made all of this stuff. It wasn't a table, if I remember. Oh. Well, it's a table now. Oh, it's a table now. I, it's, I love how it's got an oscillator and an easy grip buddy and a, you know, soldering iron and then just a circuit diagram board. Put wires on spools. And then just all of these cubbies for shit, like little tiny electronics components. Well, yeah, you kind of, you kind of expect, because that way you can lose them all, right? Yep. A pair of side cutters. That's really cool. Yep. And like your regular like craftsman pliers. I wonder what's in the drawer. There's stuff in the drawer. Does the drawer open when you? No. When you when you're doing something. No. Oh, but there's, there's. Oh, it's PCBs. It's circuit boards. Huh. That's kind of neat. That's a like they didn't even need to add that. Right, because you can only see it from about a five pixel range. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so barrels. What are you working in here? Uh, a combustion generator. Yeah. So what's going to happen is, I'm going once I get this stuff built here, and we have a couple of barrels, I'm going to move the steam generator over to the pump jacks. Yep. And drop the combustion generator here. Okay. Um, so feel free to fire off some barrels in the meantime. So ooh, that's the modern. That's the modern upgrade. Yep. Uh, modern upgrade two requires industry four, which I'm not there yet. I'm working my way towards it. Okay, so I can craft. Our barrels take 27 seconds right now. Well, I'll throw five on order, which... Oh, I think we ran out of power. We yep. Ran out, the, not, we ran out of smoke? Ran out of dinosaur chunks. There we go. We ran out of smokeless coal. Yeah, <laughs> when you throw the combustion one down, there's a great big solid stream of black at the top. 
So it's working on my barrels because it's all I can work on right now. So. So it's also trying to con finish my com uh, combustion generator. Yeah, but I think it's. I'll put your barrels ahead. So what does five barrels give me for experience on this? So the question is, so are we, are you going to skip with just one table of each kind in here to go with uh, focused workflow or? I think this, they're all part of the same uh, family, the same thing. You want to do multi, uh, the because it's not the s parallel processing because it's not the same table it's from the same uh let me read it again because i was reading it and it was like oh okay um the crafting speed of related tables which means I, whatever's within that same specialty is my understanding not okay. the same table right so if you put a bunch of industry machines in the room you want parallel processing because then they'll all go faster Okay. But I don't have industry. Right. But I do. Okay, so when so, when I hit a talent choice, what's my best option um, here? For oil, I don't think there's any other machines in this shop that you would need for oil. Uh, yep, because fiberglass is an oil-related thing. Where's it made? The electronics assembly. So it's all in the same table, though. Well. Oh, wait. Yeah. Fiber, oh, fiber the electronics assembly. Fiber glass is made on the on the electronics assembly. Oh, okay, then, so then you'd want parallel processing. Okay. Because they these are in the same room. Okay. Unless I okay. build another a shop for electronics. Hmm. But there's these tape both of these tables are used a lot for both industry electronics and oil processing. Okay. So I figure we just if anything make this room bigger if we have to. And. Or just double decker stuff like I did here. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before. Because even with all of these machines in here, we're still only using two hundred and thirty meter uh, cubic meters out of eight hundred and eleven. Oh yeah, like it had to be so tall because of this press, right? Yeah. So that, that added so can... many more square, so many more cubes to it. Right. So we can easily double decker stuff along the side walls here. How much XP did I get out of five barrels? Squat. Okay. And they went up there. Now it is nice, like barrels can like like they're actually a scenic element, eh? Yeah. You can actually decorate with these things. Ah. So this is technically within range, so you don't have to jump up there to access it. But I always jump up there just because I'm like, oh, I need to be in front of the table. Yeah. Just have <laughs> I, it, right? Yeah. Okay. But I need the PCB so I can make electric motors, so I can make, like, a robotics assembly line. Oh, the refinery needs uh, water. Okay. So. We have to, we have to, I, pl we have to plumb it in. Right, I can um, just make a bunch more iron pipes. So where was my input again? Actually, this well, not that it really matters because well, the water's back here, right? So if you're gonna split off of this, you might as well come out of here. Yeah, the issue is that. It's got that, and it's got a an output. Oh. Fuck off. Dog. Uh, I've missed him three times. I'm done. So that's waste. Are you wanting to pipe all the waste into a single spot? And if that's the case, then we might as well just dig a hole and connect all the pipes and let it dump down in a hole. Right? Instead of spilling out here, we connect oh. this pipe together and then run all of this into a dump this, location. This, 
Yeah, because uh, there's a waste filter that makes compost. Like I okay. am, oh, I am, I am um, going to have to make take fertilizers eventually, because as I that or just continually clear new land to till. All right, I can make uh, I can make two more iron pistons and three more gearboxes, and I can make a waste filter. So I will get started on that. Which way does this thing want to face? I need to make a hundred pipes here. This thing is such a pain. Okay, the intake and the exhaust. The, the water input is on one side, and the water output is on the opposite. So no matter which way you put this thing down. Yeah. All right, so I got trapped pipes inside. going. I need three. Yes, I could just type unstuck, but okay. Okay, where are you? I'm right here at your waist thing. Okay. All right, I, you need. I, I just I got ten papers in my. Are you, in my oh, you need right the tool. Now. Yeah. There you go. To my hotbar. Offer real. What? It's sitting, it's sitting on a goddamn border. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is it is it ready? No. Unowned. And now the account is owned? Yes, and now I can't use it. And I can't connect it. And I can't do anything in these plots. Okay, hang on. Oh, that's not the button I wanted to hit. Salmon claim. Who can access? Everyone. There. Can you access it now? There. Oh, nuclear green all over my eyeballs. Here's it's your. Disabled. Why is it disabled? Oh, you just. Yeah, you turn the shit on. Sewage in pipe is disconnected. No, it is not. It is connected. Hang on. I just had a whole bunch of text show up in my thing here. Sewage input pipe. Is it disconnected over here somewhere? Hold on. Let me do this. Five more rivets. Okay, that's going. Order that. Order that. And it's saying it can't run because there's no place for the sewage. Because it's on. Is it distance? That's working. And now it's not. Placed on solid ground. Power grid operational. Turned on. Has an owner. It's demanding connected no power. Blast. Right okay. So port connected to blast furnace sewage output at that block. Okay. The water output connected to the oil refinery. What's the problem? Do me a favor, set the storage yeah, and on. enable that stockpile. Let's see what happens. That worked. Yep, we had a loop in the pipe. Is it this? No, it was right here. 
I, I, I took this corner out and suddenly it started working. Hook that one up. Put it there and you put that one back. Right. This is this is the water line, not a sewage line. Right. And it breaks. Hold on. It's because there's no usage on the water. Yeah. There's nowhere for the water to go. Hold on. Let me grab one more pipe. Give me a second. I think I know what I can do to fix this. Yeah, just I put dis a... Yeah, I disconnected the water out to the, the refinery from the mechanical pump. So let me connect this up. And that should... Still on. Can you grab uh, a couple of barrels and some tallow? No, I can't and... do it. I can't. I haven't made that yet. I need oil, I need oil drilling oh. too to get back. Right. You need oil. I just need to get a bunch of experience. I have like a quarter of a level. Uh, I can make more barrels. This doesn't make sense. Like, why? Are you trying to figure out why it stops working if there's a... Essentially, a loop in the line. It's the refinery. It's this little connection in the refinery. Oh, that one little. That funny spot where it hooks up? I think so. Let me fire back a bunch of food here. Here's what I want to do. We are going to bury this water line. We'll hook it up. Hook up uh, one the one block below there. Yeah. Just to see if the same thing happens. Come from adventures in logging to adventures in plumbing. Book. That makes no sense. Why is no, that failing? It does because there's I how to word there's a loop in the uh there's a loop in the piping. Right, but you're processing it from sewage to to water. But it doesn't take but it, this thing wants to throw X amount of water into the line. No, I know, but even if I break this and connect this, it still doesn't work. And I'm getting an error that sewage flow is not available. Sewage flow is not available. Oh, I intentionally removed that. Yeah. Right? If I come back in here and force water into the system. Ooh, we have a water fountain. Because that. And now it works again. Let's go run your oil wells. I'm going to very quickly go run, run off a batch. Hey, there's no, uh, this takes no modules. Okay, do it. Okay. 
Okay, storage is at 15. Why should, why do I have, okay, look you, if you get mechanical power, why do I have to put labor into you? I'm not running you. Everything costs calories. It's their balancing. Of course. Why yep. didn't you split the workload? Because I didn't feel like it. Oh. You back up here? You are specifically not supposed to do this on a pump jack. <laughs> Your character model kind of freaks out every time. Oh, I believe it. Like here. Let me, uh... Let me hop up here for a minute. Just my legs get weird as one foot <laughs> leg gets longer, shorter. Ah! So <laughs> you're trying to drive the thing. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to stand on the end. It slowly <laughs> just pushes you off. I stand on the weight end here. How's this? Yeah, I can see my legs get all weird. My ankle kind of breaks and slowly slides me off the thing. So how long is this supposed to take? Uh... Oh my gosh. Three minutes of barrel. Okay. So I'm making another steam generator then. Yep. So we need... So I'm going to make another steam generator. You're going to come over and make another 15 barrels. You're going to fire up that second one. 